There are a couple of different ways you can import songs in Rekordbox. First you can say file, import and import one track or a folder or import a playlist. What I'm going to do now is import a folder. It's really easy to have one dedicated folder for all your DJ music. The problem is if you want to move your record box library later on or move to a new computer, you buy a new computer for example, it's easier to move that library over if all the stuff is in one place. If it's scattered all over the hard drive, you have to find all your individual songs. And um, take it from me, that is a really annoying task. So, import folder and I'm gonna search for the import folder that I wanna use. Then I'm going to search for my music, DJ music, and I have all my stuff that I want to import in the 2010 folder. Let's open it and Recordbox starts to import all the songs. Recordbox 5 and 4 have some screen real estate problems. You can see over here, if you have a bigger screen than me, uh, bigger than 13 inch, you can see it says analyzing 1000 and something songs. You can also see what he's doing because here, uh, over here, it says no percent and somewhere over here, you will find what he is doing. 99%, uh, if it's done, you'll see, if you have album art, you see the album art here and you'll see the waveform over here. Let's first wait for that import process to complete. Now that the import is done, I'm gonna show you another way how to import songs in Recordbox. I'm going to Finder and I'm going to select a couple of songs. And now I'm gonna drag them over to Recordbox. And you'll see that Recordbox starts to import those songs. When you import a lot of tracks, it can sometimes be hard to find them in the future. It helps to put your music into playlists. The video on the screen shows you exactly how to do that. And in the playlist on the right, you can find more Recordbox tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'd love to see you in the next video.